So as a YouTuber or a influencer, I guess, even though I'm just a human being, I'm just a degen, I get a lot of um, emails, telegram messages, tweets, DMs asking me to check out projects. Generally, I just ignore them. Sorry, but there are literally 50, 100 every week that I need to get through. And yeah, I just ignore them because usually they're scams. Sometimes they're rug pulls <laughs> or they're pump and dumps or they are just forks, right? So then yesterday when a guy called the Crypto Doc uh, messaged me on Telegram telling me about a fantastic new project called Vault, right? I was very skeptical. First, I was scared. I was really worried that it was going to be another drip fork. And I've seen a lot of them. And I've fallen for it too many times. <laughs> but it's not a drip fork. A new project out in the crypto space, DeFi project, passive income earning project, which is not a drip fork. I'm elated, I'm ecstatic, right? And this project is doing things which no other project is doing. That's why I wanna talk about it today. I'm not telling you to buy the token, it's actually pumping right now. I would probably suggest not buying it right now. I'd suggest putting it on your radar and checking on it every couple of days and seeing if you can catch a juicy dip, if you do think about buying it. But at the same time, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Do with your money what you want to. I'm not your daddy, I'm just a degen. So let's get into Vault Finance, a very exciting project which is going parabolic right now. Sorry, I just had to tell you that. <laughs> Richie, you never tell me about these projects before they pump. Firstly, I only found out about it yesterday and it has pumped since yesterday um, by a good 20%. But secondly, I did tell you about it, so you can't say that to me. That's just mean and nasty. You shouldn't say that in the comments. A lot of people say that to me in the comments. You know, why didn't you tell me earlier? Of course, they also say, you know, I lost lots of money, but that's because you're, you know, investing more than you're willing to lose. Um, this is high risk, high reward. I've already said that though. The disclaimer is out of the way, but I did put it out there. Yesterday, I said, who's in the vault finance? It got five likes, five, five likes. I've got like 6,000 followers on Twitter. Nobody gave a shit, right? So I did tell you about it. You didn't listen to me and you lost yourself 20%. But there is a tax on this, so you wouldn't have made 20%. But anyway, what the hell is the Vault Finance? You know, you can click over to them and you can find out uh, Novation, Launchpad and Exchange is what they're planning to do. Now it started actually, it's still a very small project. They have 4,000 followers on Twitter. I have more, yeah? <laughs> just saying, you know, not, you know, we're not comparing or anything. I'm just saying that. They do have some very, very bullish things coming out, but I'd rather just go back to the beginning of the story with Vault before we get into what they're doing right now. It's not a very old project, right? So we're coming up into just the second month of it. They did have the pre-sale dip, they floored for a while, and now they have started to gain this momentum. Now the token, what is the token? So the token is a reflect token. We're gonna to first learn about that, and then we're gonna learn about why it's pumping, why it's been pumping, yeah, pumping since October 15th, almost one month of pumping, right? So I think it's a good idea to break it down into three stages. Stage number one, first things first, we're gonna talk about the token, yeah? What does the token do that is different to almost every token in the crypto space, okay? That's the first thing. Second thing we're gonna talk about is how to purchase the token. Do not buy it on PancakeSwap, right? Do not buy it there. And third, it is on the Binance Smart Chain, by the way. And third, we're gonna talk about why is it pumping now? Why has it been pumping for the past two weeks? What news did they release that is so bullish that the price is going up in a bear market and it is pretty bullish news? So wait till the end to find out. Let's get into Vault Finance. Exciting, I'm excited, are you excited? If you're excited, type into the comments, Richie, the excitement is palpable. So coming to their landing page, this is Vault Finance, driving value through innovation and superior utility. By the way, this is not a paid shill, just doing this because I find it interesting. Novation, Launchpad and Exchange, list, launch, list and trade with us. So they are launching their own Launchpad. Getting into the token, the first thing that we'll be buying, right? A sellless rewards contract. We will be deploying a next generation sellless smart contract that doesn't require the selling of our native tokens to generate BUSD rewards. So this is a reflect token RFI. It means that by holding the token 
when other people sell the token, then you will earn yourself another token. In this one, you earn yourself BUSD rewards. Now they've noticed a huge problem in all of these um, tokens, which give you other tokens. So they sell the token. So if we imagine there was a token called Richie token, okay, there's not, don't worry, don't buy it. There's not a Richie token. But if there was a Richie token and I had this reward mechanism on mine, it would be, it would mean whenever someone buys Richie token, say there's a 10% tax. So you put in one BNB for Richie token. They would take that 10%, sell that into, for example, BUSD, and then send it down to all holders. But that means that actually they're taking my purchase and then they're selling 10% of my purchase. That is wrong because it adds added sell pressure to a token. So what they've done is they've eliminated that part. So say I buy the token with BUSD, they would then first take 10%, send it to all holders, and then make the purchase, meaning that they are never selling their own asset. So this is a very, very subtle way of making sure that you're getting the full potential of this reflect token. The sell list rewards contract is what it's called. So we can go through all the tax and stuff if you want. If you want to buy it, there's a 12% tax on buy, 6% goes to BUSD rewards, 2% to buy back and burn, 2% to marketing, 1% to development, 1% to liquidity. You know, this kind of stuff we already have seen before. And then on selling, there's a higher tax so that more than it would be 6% to rewards again. So it buys and sells, gives you 6% BUSD rewards into your wallet for holding the token, right? 4% goes to unlock the vault. Unlock the vault is a reward structure set up so that if you hold on to the token for long enough, when they unlock the vault, you will get a big bag of BUSD in comparison to how much of the token you hold. Strategic buyback and burn is 2%, marketing, development, and liquidity. So you can see the, bit, the only difference is the unlocking the vault, which comes from sell pressure. Uh, the team is doxxed. You can find them here, which is always a great sign. We have Ross, we have Chris, and we have Mason. Okay, that's a great thing. And we then we do need to check out what is Novation, right? So you don't want to come to, for example, PooCoin and find it here because it's going to be taking it from the PancakeSwap Dex. And that's what I told you. Don't buy this on PancakeSwap. That's why I looked up the chart on the old Dex screener because it is using a unknown Dex. The unknown Dex is this Novation Dex. We come to the BSC scan, we can see that we do have 585 addresses are holding VFX token, which is tiny. So this would be a high risk, high reward play in my opinion, but what they're building, this might just be the position where you find like, oh, Richie, you find an absolute gem. Of course I could find an absolute dud. Um, I just think this might have potential. So that's the difference in the token. Now, if we take a look, at the chart, you can see that, you know, that news um, didn't, you know, it didn't, <laughs> it didn't light the world on fire. Let's just say that we just kind of stuck along um, around about in October, the same kind of price performance. But then we just start to see as the crypto market also was starting to recover, we a little bit, right? We also saw a pickup in the prices of what's going on. Now let's talk about how to purchase the token. Um, so how to buy it, you need to come here to Novation Launchpad and Exchange. You come here to Exchange, okay? I've already bought some tokens. I did a test just to see it's legit. My balance is this here, which was about $500 when I purchased it. Uh, my pending rewards in one day, I've made 42 cents, okay? So it's not that much, but I'm looking more for the token appreciation than the BUSD rewards. The BUSD rewards for me are just a little bit of a bonus, right? Because this token can go up so high because its market cap is so a uh, $4.9 million market cap, right? So the market cap, of course, is also not that big. Easy 2x, possible 5x, maybe 10x, right? Maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> we can hope and dream. But of course, by holding this for longer, then you do get the chance of unlocking the vault and then getting yourself more BUSD rewards. But generally, my, my impression usually with these kind of RFA tokens is that the pending rewards that you get are usually not worth the, the time of holding them. So that's why they decided to create something different. And we're almost about to talk about that. First, we go to exchange. This is how we purchase. So we buy vault tokens on dapnovation.com. Link in the description, right? And we can come here. Um, we want to get sell this, right? We want to buy without having to damage the, the token price. So that's what's happening here. So for example, if I wanted to invest a little bit more, let's take one BMB of value. That would be about 300 more bucks. So then my, my buy-in would be about $800 and it will get me another bit of this token. I would just go to auto. So I just pay the, the tax, which is normal. Remember that is a 12% tax on buys and a 16% tax on sells. So just come there and put in auto. It will give you 12% tax most probably. And then we go to trade, right? Okay, push that through. It's very fast. Just go through just like any other trading decks. 
fantastic stuff. So if I did want to sell, I could sell it back in. I have just under three BNBs worth of this token for now. Coming back in, it sees that when I purchased more, I did have an automatic claim there. So part three, why is this mooning right? Let's come in and see the, the, the plot thickens, okay. Vault Finance is only available on Novation, our in-house decks built with superior tech that eliminates contract sales. So what Vault Finance have found out? So they have this long AMA where they explain the difference between the Novation decks and PancakeSwap decks, because that's what we're talking about here in part three. What makes them totally different? You can come here, follow also Novation, you'll find it right here, right? Imagine creation, Novation, Launchpad and Dex. No contract sells ever. Want to swap? We can do that too. Contract sells wreck your charts. Novation powered by Vault Fanax is the trading platform investors and projects have been waiting for. So essentially the difference between the Dex, the Novation Dex and all the other Dexes that you've seen, the Uniswaps, PancakeSwap, all of these normal Dexes is that um, Novation is claiming, yeah, Vault Finance is claiming that they are out of date and actually they damage projects by stealing liquidity from them. Small amounts, but small amounts every day do add up. We're going to listen to an AMA, a short part of an AMA, right, which explains it better than I could because it's uh, explained by the development team, right? So let's just get into that. Oh, yeah, for sure. And, and that's another thing, you know, that I'll mention. You know, like, you know, PancakeSwap, of course, they, they are the kings of BSC, right? Um, they, uh, they got here, they, they've got everybody's attention. Everybody wants pancake swap. Um, but what a lot of people don't understand, uh, when it comes to pancake swap, um, they get their biggest fees off of their liquidity tax, right? So if you have a project and you have it on pancake swap, um, and your liquidity is there, they actually take a portion of your liquidity whenever you add liquidity. And then every time that the trading's going on, there's a tax that goes for liquidity that they're taking part of, right? Um, it's going into a, it's kind of a, a bot that's set up for PCS, but anyway, it collects that, that LP. Well, that's constantly, they're skimming your LP out of the project, right? Um, so as it builds, they're pulling some and they're selling the tokens and they're pulling some. And it, it's a, it, it's forever, as long as that you have liquidity on PCS. Um, that's one thing we, we didn't want to do with, with Novation. Um, we took that liquidity tax out. Um, so projects can, can get on to Novation. They can add their liquidity and their liquidity is their liquidity. We're not taking part of it. Um, you know, that's massive as far as, uh, the time, especially when you have a token that's, you know, uh, really have something behind it and really growing well. Um, you know, you need that liquidity to make it healthy. Uh, whenever you have something that's skimming liquidity all the time, especially as the price is going up, um, you know, that's that's just less that the investors have to uh, as a safety net. Um, so we got rid of that. You know, there's no reason to have it. Um, you know, yeah, we don't have a farming set up, um, but there is ways to farm on the side. Uh, there's there's other. All right. So there you have it. It is a improvement in theory on PancakeSwap traditional DEXs where PancakeSwap will take a tax on holding the liquidity, meaning that it, for especially for new coins, new projects, it can be detrimental to their early growth and also to your bags and your gains. So that's the one innovation that they've made so far. Rolling out next will be cross-chain, um, launching this same DEX on ETH and other chains. And then going from there, they have their launch pads and a bunch of other stuff. So that's why it's going up. Like I said, I would not um, advise purchasing a candle like this, I would wait um, for something to come down a bit, you know, coming down well, at least 20%, 30% dump, then consider purchasing or, you know, FOMO in. <laughs> I don't know. You know, you make your own mind on that. I just thought of putting in a couple of B&Bs worth and see if it will make me some nice gains in the future. Uh, always bear market, you know. Uh, diversification is key. So I just thought I would talk about something today that is totally different to uh, any project currently that I'm in. Some Somebody who's doing something different in this space. Do your own research. All the links, of course, are in the description of this video. I've been Crypto Mischief. Thanks for joining me on today's crypto journey.